Please tell us about your journey to Fireweed Island adventure. It was definitely an adventure. I think we enjoyed every minute of it. The Matanabe, there's a boat that we took over there. It's very well designed. Great viewing platform. Uh, Wally, our captain, was great at trying to make the trip over there as fun as possible, pointing out different wildlife, saw a few polar bears on the way that we enjoyed looking at from the boat. And then once we got to the island, that's when it really got adventurous because we had a little bit of a rock scramble to get over to where the polar bears were. And then from there, it was just gorgeous and yeah. yeah, very memorable. Yeah, yeah, Fireweed Island was definitely a highlight for us. Um, just knowing you're walking somewhere that so few people have ever walked before, you're seeing um, polar bears just doing what they've chosen to do. They've chosen to come to this island to rest and uh, to live their life, and you're just getting the privilege that very few people have of, of seeing them in their natural habitat and enjoying them. It just felt really special. And it, um, definitely an expedition, um, which, you know, in these days is, is rare to be able to, to do something like that. We really enjoyed it. And the crew was really professional and took good care of us. And we were comfortable in the boat and, and had a lot of fun. So how many polar bears did you see between going up the coast and on the island? I think it was at least 10. I'd say it might be even more than that. We got three really close encounters, which was special. Yeah, because we saw, you know, we were all so excited, everyone on the tour, to see our first polar bear in the wild. And we saw that, you know, on the coast of Augustus. Um, but then we just kept seeing more as we're going. And, and we had a polar bear, a big polar bear that was in the water. So, uh, yeah, we weren't even expecting that before booking this trip. So it was special. And uh, apparently you went uh, kayaking. Yes. Tell us about that. Yeah, that was that was great. Good exercise. I think we made it about five miles over the course of the day and uh, what encountered probably hundreds of beluga whales. Yeah. yeah that was great. And uh, you know, you could set yourself up to where they follow you paddling backwards and they, you know, you could watch them as they come up. It's great. Yeah. I was telling him while we were out there, I don't know if there's anywhere that's such a high concentration of whales in one spot because just you can hear them breaching all around you 360 degrees and just everywhere you turn there's more whales coming up and um you know to be so close to the water and you'll see them under the water come and they'll look at you and turn on their side and check you out um it was we had such a peaceful morning just the two of us able the, the water's like glass just very tranquil and just to hear the sounds right because you don't have an engine when you're on the kayak so you can hear the, the whales pulling up for air and you can hear the sounds that they make under the water. So. Hear them singing. Yeah. 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 Now is. tell us about beluga aquagliding. How was that? The belugas loved interacting with us on the beluga aquagliding. That was where we saw the most belugas the whole trip and where they wanted to get the closest to us. So it was really special to have an animal that was, you know, that's. A wild animal that wants to interact with the human being and you can stick your head under the water and have a beluga within arm's reach making eye wow. contact with them special. Yeah, it was a highlight. It was even better than I imagined, you know, to have I felt like they were like talking to each other and letting their friends know, come over here and, and hang out with these people. Um, and you know, they look you right in the eye and you kind of can, you know, make little noises to them and they're chattering back and uh, they look at you so curiously. And so, um, you know, wildlife adventures, that's, that's part of the fun as you come to somewhere like this to, you don't know exactly what you're going to get because every uh, wildlife experience is different. It just depends on what the animal wants to do. And that's the fun part about it. You try to put yourself in the right place and at the right time and you see what happens. And that's the exciting part is you don't know what you're going to get. Uh, but we got some really amazing things here in Churchill. We had the, uh, the one polar bear that swam right up to our boat and was so close to us. And 
you know, making eye contact, got gorgeous photos of, of her and then the belugas today. It was, it was awesome. He had one beluga in particular that um, kept kind of making faces at him and playing with the bubbles and playing with the, you know, chattering and, was my butt. you know, trying to bump us. He came up under the mat and like picked us up a bit. So, yeah. Well, that's awesome. And uh, how was your stay at Lazy Bear Lodge? Really good. That's uh, part of the reason we picked uh, Lazy Bear is because, you know, it's family owned and operated and they've been here a long time and we appreciate that. We know they know the area. Uh, they know uh, what to do and how to do it. And, and we appreciate the the rustic uh, feel of the lodge. The food here was delicious and, uh, you know, lots of locally sourced um, food that's supporting the community. And, and yeah, we've had staff is, you know, so very friendly, very yeah. helpful. And taking great all of our needs. Yeah. Well, thank you so much uh, for telling us about your experiences at Lazy Bear Lodge, and uh, we hope to see you again sometime. Sure. Thank, thank you. you.